Now it's official. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll play this. That's power for me. You're okay there? Okay. Yeah. That I don't know. Um, yeah. Ask for the scales. Okay. The mass of the So much stuff. I know, but you guys have been doing a crappy job. You've got some good stuff. It's like a short group of the first day. Here, you just go data set number and turn the data. So, and then when you do that, so if I go 24 and then 45, yeah, I it'll automatically switch. So, like, where do I get the data from? Do I they're get bringing the data here. So, yeah, I'm not sure what that will look like when they bring it, but yeah. Okay, so I just stand here? Yeah, there's a chair, although. I don't think I can get it. Yeah. Do we have any extra batteries for this thing? Um, this is not set. We have to get there out on that. Oh, shoot. So that means that whenever you're not using it, turn it off. Yeah. Because we locked out the batteries. So, yeah. yeah. So maybe turn it off now. Yeah. Excuse me. So am I, am I not in your group anymore? Or, huh? Am I not in your group? I'm all alone. Uh, Are you participating? I, I don't know. I thought. Yeah, I just got
Yeah, I'll get that. 
One minute, one minute to go. Feel free to count it down. Actually, Mr. Scott, do the countdown. You will. I just want to do Scott. Do I not get to uh, throw the paper airplanes? Uh, did you did you put a ticket in? Yeah. Yeah, then you should go get an airplane. Because I'm doing the data thing right now. Oh. I'm not, I didn't get my Ah, uh, don't worry. You're doing the experiments. Okay. Like, when they do the countdown. So I don't get to throw the airplane. I don't get to throw it either. Did you, did you have a ticket though? I didn't hand it in. Why not? Oh. You have to bring your school phone. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9,
talk about that. And that's, you're going to have about 15 or 20 minutes to do that. Then we're going to bring, come up together, go over results, and then, this is the fun part, well, this is all fun, but the real fun part, then we're going to have a competition where we are going to put the prizes that you saw. Yes, one of the prizes you do not, your eyes do not see you. A paper airplane launcher that launches paper airplanes at 50 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I know. We're going to put those prizes around the gym, and your job is to get as close as possible to that. So, if you haven't already done this, you need to write your first and last name on your paper airplane right now. First and last name, because if I can't read your name, you don't get the paper airplane launcher. We have to go until 12.30. We'll do the pink paper airplane launch right about then. Afterwards, we will be doing the cake. Oh yeah, we want cake. Where's our cake? Quick vote, by screaming out, I'm going to give you a choice. Which was the best looking cake? How many people vote for the Mars cake? How many people vote for the moon cake? How many people will vote for the Earth cake? You people are such homers, it's pathetic. But well done. Alright, so any questions about what you're doing, you have to get the masks if you have it. Otherwise, it's going to get a little crap and fun. That's the best part. Do your free trials. One, you know, one set of trials per group. Record your results so the people help you out. If you have any questions, ask any of the uh, science teachers from Dakota. Hopefully, we can help you out. Otherwise, on your mark, get set. go get your stuff be, uh, to get an airplane because you want to be in for the prizes, right? Uh, I already have a group. Well, I, don't, I don't have a plane. Yeah, though. so we'll get you a plane. Okay. Right, plus, you're going to make some planes? All right. Just to be clear, you're measuring where it first hits the ground. Wherever it first hits the ground. So sliding does not count. No electric sliding place. Got any numbers yet? Uh, no. Okay.
Another rule that has been added that we didn't think of, if your plane goes backwards, and yes it has happened, just record that as a zero. Backwards is a zero, you don't have to put negatives in. Remember, once you've got your averages, bring it over to the table, the starting table here, so we can put it up on the graph. You can see that our scattered plot is starting to take place.
airplane danger agent. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger. Remember, if you're finished and you're giving your data back in your groups, you're answering the questions. We're going to take that out for a moment. Swagzilla. Mic testing, one, two, one, two, one. And if you are finished and you have any questions and you have any follow here on Twitter, don't forget we have a Twitter feed for this account. I'm going to say this. DCI, DCI, give us a world record. You can live tweet what you've done in the event, how you have your record for furthest or shortest plane from, whatever you think is capable. I got to flinch. You can't stop flinching. Unless you don't see it coming. I don't know what this thing feels like. Does it hurt? You're talking about no, it. No, it like, kind of burns your eyes when you're not expecting it. That's because you're not doing it right. If you can withstand this, then it shocks you over there. Like, oh my god. Yeah, let's go. Do we need to keep the paint out? You put it down. You're gonna break it. The pen is so you broke the love gun. You broke the love. Actually, I'm gonna go talk to him. You broke the love gun. Yeah, he broke it last year. Oh, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, 
Did you guys just add those? Three? What? Did you divide them by three? Yeah. After? Yeah. So I think we did some wrong. Yeah. How did we get 17 out of this? How that makes sense? Yeah. Retry! Okay, give the number. Okay, 5.5. Plus nine. Plus eight. Plus eight. Divided by three. Oh, okay. Never mind, man. Cool. Someone else got to watch something. Or maybe they stuck it together. Oh, maybe. Oh. I'm not on a prize. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. She should be banned from the school forever. Come over here. Sorry, what's your name? 
All right, Josh, why did the earth plane go the furthest? It's got, it's, got right now. it's got the red mask, it's got those wing things. <coughs> nice to be done. Huge round of applause for Josh. Huh? Now, he's right. There were wings on that airplane. There were no wings on the moon airplane. Someone quickly run up here and tell me why there were no wings on the moon airplane. Remember, we were simulating an airplane actually flying on the moon. Why would we have cut off the wings from the moon airplane? You know, come on down, come on down. Okay, scream it out then. Oh no, he's coming out, thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Kyle. Oh yeah, he's going to KO you with this knowledge. Okay, Kyle, what do you know? Because the moon has no atmosphere. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, no atmosphere on the moon, therefore you can't get your lift from the wings because there's no atmosphere. Exactly right. All right, now the harder question. Mars had some wings, but not all of them. There's two reasons for that in terms of the simulation. All you have to do is come up with one of the reasons. You might have already heard that. Okay, come down here and tell me why the Mars plane only had, you know, one quarter or one fifth of its wings left. Who knows? Come on, bring it down. You don't have to give me both answers, just give me one. Or you can scream it out. Go ahead. You don't want to climb that. Oh, someone said there's one quarter as much atmosphere. That number's not necessarily exactly right, but there is less atmosphere, but there is some. Correct? Round of applause for that, please. Now, the other thing with cutting wings off for both the moon and the Mars plane, it made it have a lot less, well, technically mass, why did we make the moon and Mars planes have less mass? There is less gravity. Nicely done. What's your name? Caitlin is exactly right. Less gravity on the moon. By the way, anybody know? What's the fraction of gravity on the moon compared to Earth? One sixth. Ooh, nicely done. What about Mars compared to Earth? One third. About one third, yeah, 40%, something like that. Awesome. Holy moly, I didn't need to teach this lesson. You guys know all this. Give yourselves a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're now going to throw on all the lights because this, to some degree, may have been the moment you've been waiting for. People with, well, you've all got cell phone cameras, people with the media, this is the, this is the picture you want to get, right? There are on the floor the prizes. This one is based in Sliding. Whoever's playing ends up closest to each of these and closest to find as, like if two of them are touching, if whichever one hits first, you win that prize. And by the way, this lovely stress apple, a stress apple, by the way, quick science thing, why an apple for this lesson? Gravity, okay, what's the science? Oh, no, we don't have any fig newtons, so we have cake. Thank you. Okay, so, your name is on there. The most exciting part, usually when you hand in a lab report, you hand this in to your teacher. You're going to hand this in to your teacher, but you get to take these sheets, fold them into your own paper airplane, and throw those as well as part of the competition. So right now, make paper airplanes. You have 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, we're going to do a countdown. And then we're going to get ready for prizes. Fold those planes. Fold those planes. Fold those. Again, the design of the Earth, Moon, and Mars plane we had to do, maybe you got a way better design. I don't know. Now, couple things. First of all, we have to take a vote. Some of you know what this is. What's this? 
The air cannon, right? This can fire a significant gust of air.
for our last one, right? Well, this is the big one. There's no other prizes, right? The electric plane launcher. Oh boy, this is awesome. It's going to, I'm going to say it says, well, there, we're verifying it upstairs. Uh, Marin Chewy. Oh, Marin, congratulations, in a lecturer. Nicely done, Marin. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Mr. Science lesson. You see, we're seven minutes past. But before you go, though, a couple things. Hold on, no, no, no cake yet. Yeah. We'll get there in a moment. To make an event like this happen, obviously we need the students. One last big round of applause for yourselves, please. And just to my sake, can you start a science chat just so we can say we had a science chat in the gym? Science, 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 science. Nice. Uh, to put up an event like this, I want to give special thanks to all of our student volunteers. Round of applause, please. Hands up if you are a student volunteer. Special thanks to the Dakota staff, mostly science teachers, but also, you know, Ms. Patrick, Ms. Noakes, Ms. Henderson back for today. Round of applause. And one last one for our entire list, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave them out. Our special volunteers, George Bush, Chris Stevenson, Colleen Mayer, Frank Russell, Mike Mann, Aaron Filowich, Ray Nesitov, Dennis Gagne, 